Hello and welcome to the Reapers. So it's Sunday night but we don't have a mission planned for today and no one's on so I'm just going to do a quick vid. Um, I wanted to do this. I saw some cool fights in yesterday's tactical PvP between some of the air-to-air -air fighters and I thought it would be cool just to go over them and to have a, <clears throat> a bit of a closer look at the dogfights. So um, the first fight here is between Sonic Dust with an SU-27 and if I can get it to pan round, here we go. Uh, we've got Cobra here in an F-15, uh, just to show you how it works. The green line is the um, vector between them. Uh, this is the distance between them in kilometres. Uh, this is the bearing between them and the relative aspect. This number here, 035, is 35,000 feet for this fighter. Uh, this hit 107 is Mach 1.07. Cobra here is at 27,000 feet, that's what that means, and uh, 0.73 Mach. Let's play it through first of all speed, and then we'll go through it in slow motion, so I can actually keep up. Box 3! There's also a war going on in the air. Crash, airborne. We have Cobra versus Sonic Dust. Cobra. Box two. Air can take it off two seven. Trash left turn bearing at two six eight. Two six eight. The missile scratch. Uh, Another missile. You have in front of you uh, one friendly of uh, thirteen miles and one hostile of fifteen nice miles. They're currently in a verbal. One more missile. You can't shoot. Oh, couldn't get away from that. Jesus, caller. Okay, and that's the fight over. So we're playing again from the start, this time in half speed, so we can talk over it and catch up. So, uh, Cobra's just been informed, I guess, by his GCI that he's a hostile on his lift vector. He's turning tight into combat. Now, if we look at the relative energies, Sonic has the height and, by far, the speed advantage. Um, so he's going to be able to get a first shot off. In fact, he just has. He's got an ER uh, so Fox 1 off already, and only now is Cobra catching up with what, I guess that's an AIM-120. Yeah, AIM-120 Bravo, not the longest range, I guess that's the medium range. And for some reason Cobra's doing some crazy turning, but I guess he's uh, trying to fool this missile. And it works, obviously. So because of the energy advantage that this guy, that the red guy had, you can see the missile is a lot further advanced, his missile is. Okay, uh, Sonic knows that this... Let me stop it, how do I stop it? And uh, this uh, aim, Fox 3 here has just gone pitbull, Sonic's picked it up on his receiver, and so has taken the opportunity to get another Fox 1 out, and now he's going to have to dodge this Fox 3, which he's doing now. Now this Fox 3 here is pushing Sonic's nose vector too far off the blue guy to keep radar lock, hence I imagine these two ERs have now lost lock altogether and are dead. Uh, the AIM-120 is going but it's lost so much energy in that turn it's probably not really effective anymore. So the fight effectively starts again now at 12 kilometers, about 8 miles, so starting again. Uh, this time we've got, ah, it's interesting, we've got an AIM-9 Papa 5. A uh, fairly old variant of the Sidewinder fired by Cobra. That's at a range of 10 kilometers. That's seven miles. That's extremely ambitious to be firing on someone with a Fox 2 from a front aspect like that with an old missile. So we can see obviously one that missed. Uh, so that really should have been. I mean, I don't. I don't approve of any of this long firing. Uh, 20 miles that they were firing. I don't fire until uh, within 10 miles. But that's just my style of fighting. Um, okay, so let's set it off again. Uh, we've got another Fox 1, I think that is. Yes, another Fox 1 from Sonic. They're going to cross about in the middle. Cobra has to go defensive now because he's picked up this warning. Sonic hasn't got any warning at all from this missile, but this missile has gone dud. It was too far away, like I said, so it just killed itself. So, uh, Cobra has dodged this Fox 1 fairly easily. What's this coming in now? It's an R73. That's a Fox 2. Extremely effective. Um, close range missile, uh, we're at 5 kilometers, about 4 miles, just about within kill radius of this R73. So this could easily be a kill here. So 
Cobra won't get a warning about this missile, but it's a smoky missile. He'll see it pretty easily and he'll be able to go on the defensive and get some hard turns in and flares out. Which he is doing. He's pulling crazy G and putting crazy... Look at his energy is completely lost. He's down to half a Mac now. While Sonic's been able to keep his nose ahead all the time and keep over Mac 1. So he successfully scratches this, mile, this missile, which is uh, pretty hard to do, so well done. And at this point, the red is so much on the advantage now. He's got everything in his favour, including a blue that's a, a defensive side aspect, and you're, you're only a mile away now. So there's pretty much nothing you can do to avoid this missile, apart from a miracle. And pow. Yep, got him. So... That's a um, good fight. What can we learn by that? Really, uh, Sonic had more missiles out um, to keep the blue guy, keep Cobra, on the defensive all the time. Sonic fired first, which is always a, a real winner. Uh, so he had energy high and altitude at the beginning. Um, and that's about it, really. And I think there was a mistake fire from the firing the Fox 2 from Cobra so early. It was a wasted missile. Didn't really achieve anything. So let's go on to the next fight. Okay, let's check out our second fight. This time we have Fortinero versus uh, Gak, and both in a flanker, a land flanker. So first of all, let's run it through at full base. Okay, what's going on in the air? Hello, turn left, bearing at 131, full speed. Fox out. Correct, a hostile fight. A uh, hostile fighter is avoiding a uh, turn Gakken. bearing at 27033 miles, continuing to get new ground targets. Have your. Gakken is Cobra, can I confirm that you have the go. hostile SU 27 on your radar, 22 miles, 270? I can affirm, I can. Uh, check, you also have friendly uh, 7 miles 267 in front of you. Air firm. Two big names against each other. Gatham versus Fortinero. Mirroring each other perfectly. Distance now 9 miles from each other. Scratching each other's missiles. Firing a perfect Cobra sequence. Fox. Oh, Cobra's coming in. That's going to shake things up a little. Gatham is about to get hit, unfortunately. Oh, he's dodged it. Well done. Well done, son. And a couple of frogs. That's a close shot. I don't think you can Jack miss can this be one. Where you have two Fox 3s in the Boom. vicinity. Well, I'm not going to worry about that now. And stop. Okay, this time we're running it through at half pace. So. You can see they both got similar tactics. Fortinero up at Angel's 50, extremely high and extremely fast. Mac 1-4, so he's going super energy high. He knows exactly what he wants to do here. Gakken's doing the same thing, not quite as high, not quite as fast. Uh, Angel's 42 and uh, Mac 1.2. So immediately Fortinero has, has the energy advantage and he will be able to get a missile off first, which he's done. Uh, he got an ER off first which will immediately get Gakken on the defensive if you can see him turning. Uh, Gakken's followed just a few seconds behind by his own e, uh, an ET, in fact. Uh, ET is a Fox 2. Uh, it does not give a, a, a receiver warning, but you can see it with your eyes, and it's uh, infrared guided. Uh, so Fortinero has also uh, started to um, crank and tangle away to try and slow this, minute, uh, this missile down. So... The it's all working. You can see the energy scrubbing off both missiles, the speed decreasing on both missiles as the fighters turn. Um, and they're both mirroring each other pretty much perfectly. Um, you see they both, you know, had training in, in this kind of combat. Uh, two missiles at exactly the same time again, this time an ER from the blue, this time another ER from the red, so they both got new radar warnings. They've both got to go defensive again, put some angles in to try and scrub these new missiles the speed off. And you can see the speed is scrubbing off. Fortin errors are slightly higher. Fortin error I think have maybe uh, managed to um, maintain slightly better energy all, all the way through. Although it looks pretty equal now. And right, a cheeky missile off from blue here. We've got another ER that's just been fired, putting uh, Fortin error 
Um, defensive again. Gak is still going defensive. He's still worried about these two missiles, even though in reality he's not really under any threat. So he's gone a little bit too defensive there, I think. So um, it's effectively free set again. We've got a missile out from both at the same time. An ER out from blue and an ER out from red. They're going to cross exactly over the middle. Both are going to have to start manoeuvring now. Uh, you can see their lift vectors turning as they prime for angles to try and scrub the speed off of the missiles. 1400 has got so low, he's completely destroyed that missile here, which is a great thing to do. So not only has he scrubbed it down, he's actually run it into the ground. Uh, whereas Gak and Stella Angels 9 couldn't quite do that. So this one might hit him. Or has he scrubbed enough energy off it? He has, so it wasn't effective. Right, another missile out. This time we've got an ET, so he's going in for the kill by the looks of it. This is a Fox 2 coming in now. And a... Oh, and a nice time needed Fox 2. That's also a Fox 2 going at 14 arrows. So this ET will be really hard to dodge at this range. He's flaring, he's manoeuvring, but it's always a difficult thing to do. And he's been taken down. Excellent fight there. And uh, this Fox 2 was just avoided. It leaves a smoke trail, so 14 arrow would have seen it. Um, and it just scrubs that down in time. So that was a pretty awesome fight. That's pretty much the best example I've seen in a long time of how to fight with uh, flankers, uh, mirages that applies to as well, but anything that carries a, uh, a fox one as its main weapon. So, I mean, look at the look at the trail that is left there as he came down from Angels 50 down to the ground to scratch some missiles and pretty textbook, so very good. <laughs> Okay, we have a next fight here. It's a short one, but I think it's quite important. So first we have on the red Fortin Arrow yet again. Um, and we have Trash here in the F-15 head-on, uh, 22 miles away. Let's see what happens at full speed. Trash, Fox 3. Okay, Trash is long Fox 3 to try and get one of them skittish. Going for Fortin Arrow. Trash is really high energy. Fortin Arrow is also high. No trash now. Another Fox 3. First, first thought 3 has gone Pitbull, but missed. And Fortin Arrow is just... Wow! What a kill! That's... I don't know how he did that. This is not looking good, Cap. Okay, and now we're running it through at half speed, so we can analyse it first. We've got Fortin Arrow. I think he's just come out of a different fight, so he's... Um, He's low, he's Angel 7, which is fairly low for a cap um, incursion. Also, oh, and he's fast, he's Angel's 1.3, so at least he's got speed. Then we look at Trash, who is, oh, he's in a much better cap position, Angel's 40, um, descending, and Angel's over, uh, sorry, over Mac 1.3, so excellent position for an F15, hard to lose this one. So, send them on their way, uh, they're just over 20 miles away. No missiles out yet from anyone. Okay, we do have a missile out now. It's a long bomb. Um, it's going to be an Amram Charlie. Uh, that's been fired at 18 miles, so that's a long shot. Now, I don't approve of that kind of shot. I think it's a complete waste of an Amram. It's not what it's designed to do to be shot that far away. You're not you're not giving yourself any tactical advantage by doing it, but some people do it. So be it. You see it's gone up into the stratosphere to, um, uh, to, to get the range. It's fast and it'll be going pitbull about now, I imagine. Yep, so it's just gone pitbull, it's turned its radar on, it's locked onto 14 arrow. 14 arrow's got the signal, he's now turned off, but he has, as he's turned off, launched an ET, this self guiding Fox 2 missile that uh, is guided uh, by the uh, by infrared and it's not needed, uh, it doesn't use the mothership's radar at all, so the mothership can now turn off, so that's the best thing. Uh, that the SU-27 could have done in this case. Very, very good. Now what we should hear, uh, see, these are 10 miles apart now, or 11 miles, so we're in visual range. What Trash should be looking, he should be zoomed in, his eyes fixed on this fighter here, instead of his radar, and he should be looking for a smoke trail, the dead giveaway for this ET missile, is a massive smoke trail, and he should spot it immediately and turn off immediately to avoid it, because it, it's very easy to missile to, to beat if you can see it. But I imagine what he's done is he's not seen it. He's been looking down at his radar or something. And his valuable seconds have burnt away. He's not seen it. And, oh, I see, he was launching another missile. Uh, which makes sense, but while he was busy launching that other missile, he, he hasn't been looking ahead, hasn't seen the threat. 14 arrows uh, twisting now to to get rid of the f uh, Blue Fox race. Finally, Trash has seen uh, the ET, seen the smoke trail. 
And he's putting in the turn, but it's a much too weak turn. No way he can get away. They should have been turning a long way away and a 9G turn. So he's got hit. And Forginero has um, got away. He avoided the second missile by going down like he did last time in the last fight. Going down, cranking hard to the side. And this missile here uh, has been effectively beamed by the SU-27. It completely lost sight of the SU-27. So, um, should have been an F-15 win, but by superior tactics, it's a 2-7 win. Right, so this is the last fight. This is Fortin Nero on the red yet again. Uh, this is against Gakin, um, our other flanker flyer in the blue. So first of all, let's run it through at full speed. By one of the Sams and targeted you. That was pretty good, pretty good firing. Well done. I didn't done. even get a warning. No, it's because it was a. I uh, just looked. It was an IR launcher, launcher side ones. Uh, right. Oh. Straight up flanker fight again. Gakken versus Fortinero. Here we go, the big names. So, it looks like Fortinero has an energy advantage and a timing advantage. But, you never know what's going to happen. Otherwise, it's equal. Both scratch the first missile. Who can get the next missile off first? Fortinero gives an immediate advantage. But only half a second ahead of Gakken. Gakken has been put on the, on, the, on the bad foot there. This could be a winning shot by Fortinero. Excellent turn back by Gakken. It's all square. Next missile's out. Fox 2's coming in now. Very hard to dodge. And Fortinero looks like he's got this one in the bag. Good kill. Okay, and now let's go through at half speed to analyse it. So they're starting off at uh, 20 miles um, head on as usual. So we've got Fortinero Angels 20 plus uh, ascending Mac 1.3. Gakken low, Angels 7, ascending Mach 0.9, so uh, again uh, we've got a real energy advantage um, to Fortinero here in speed and height, and that almost, well not always, but it very often translates to a win because it's just a, the best footing to start off on, and let's set them going. So I expect the first person, well the first person that will be able to fire is Fortinero because uh, he's going to have a lot more energy. Yes, he's got his missile seven for several seconds before. Uh, so it's going to be an ER I expect. It is, and it's going to be a while before Gakken can even get an authority to launch because he's so slow. Okay, so that's a good six or seven seconds. He's got his own ER off. So now they're both um, putting some turns in to scrub the missile energy off. And you can see that, look at that scrub on that red missile there completely destroying the missile and Fortinero doing his thing. Fortinero hasn't put much of a curve in. Gakken's put a huge curve in and lost a lot of height. Fortinero hasn't put much curve in and he's playing with fire a bit because this missile looks like it's on track although we know it doesn't hit. So they think they've beaten the missiles. They're both uh, resetting again, heading in. Uh, they're both about to stop the same. Uh, stop there. They're both at roughly the same angels and roughly the same speed. Tiny advantage to Fortinero. Uh, they're now at uh, 9 to 10 miles away, so we're in visual combat here, so let's see what they ought to do next. Eight miles. Seven miles. And we've got for an ER out from Fortinero, and uh, interestingly, um, R-73 is out from Gakken, so R-73 is a um, short to medium range Fox, self-guided Fox 2 IR missiles, extremely effective, uh, what I would call kill missiles, when you really want something to die, you do the R-73, and when you want to make something go defensive, you send the ER out, so let's see how they dodge, so Gakken, because Gakken gets a warning from this red ER missile, he's immediately defensive, turning and starting to scrub the energy off, uh, Fortinero doesn't get a warning from his R-73 because they're IR missiles instead of radar, so he uh, has to wait until he sees them visually. And looks like Fortinero's put another... Oh, he's put an ET out. That is a kill missile. So it looks like Fortinero's going for a kill shot as well at this point. That is a FOX-2, so that's a, a full-guided, no-warning-giving missile. Um, so let's see what happens now. They're pretty close now, within five miles. Fortinero saw the R-73 relatively early and he's putting the moves in now to scrub those missiles down. Gakken did a really nice twist there. Real low, kept it real low, must have gone to right down to onto the deck and scrubbed the ET off already, which is a great move. And, oh, I just put the flares out as well. 
Um, you see that constant flaring is left behind him. Has fooled that ET missile, that IR missile. So that's well done. Fortinero. These are fairly energy low R73s now, so Fortinero should be able to take care of them. Uh, Gakken's gone for a kill shot now. Um, he's on the is on the advantage now. He's much slower than Fortinero, but he's close, and Fortinero is on the defensive. So this ET missile should go in and finish Fortinero. It's a non uh, warning giving missile and a self guarded Fox 2. Energy high. Fortinero spotted it early. He's done a barrel roll, a quick barrel roll, as we can see, and put loads of flares out, which is the perfect move to do there. Um, so it may or may not fool it very likely will because it's a front on aspect and Fortner has put his own uh, kill Fox uh, Fox 2 R73 close range but that would be very hard to dodge at this range Fortner, yep, did indeed dodge with the barrel roll and flares Gakken has just, just given up he's got nothing left and Bosch is out so, excellent fight there, another excellent um, display of how you fight from these fighters firing from long distance, getting the um, scrubbing off the hostiles energy as much as you can and scrubbing off that height and then just pounding in with missiles until they're into submission thank you for watching um, any comments um, put them in and we shall discuss thank you very much